Well, hi folks, it's time to plant the old uh, potatoes in the pots again this year. I do this same video every year, but I'll just show you how I do it, how I'll do it again. So these are the pots I'm going to be using, 30 litres as normal, lots of drainage holes in, and you, ideally you need these in because then the roots can grow out of the bottom of the pots and into the soil as well to give you like a double benefit. I see some people are growing them in pots with drainage holes in the bottom as well, which is even better because it gives them more chance to you know, for more roots to go in and they're going to be better drained as well if we do get a lot of wet weather. So they're the pots I use, like I said, 30 litres. I tried some 60 litres last year, I've just put twice as many seed potatoes in, but I've always found that 30 litres seem to do, seem to be about the best for me. Seed potatoes, they're all chitting now, so they've got some nice chits on. These are the Sarpo Miras. I'll be putting two of these in each 30 litre pot. Fertiliser I'm using this year is blood fish and bone i've tried all sorts of different ones like spuds magic and spuds galore and things like that but i'm just going back to the older organic fertilizer now because it's a lot cheaper and i got some cracking yields off it before so i'll be using blood fish and bone and what i'm going to add is it's about four ounces in this little measure so i'm going to be putting about four ounces of blood fish and bone into each 30 litre pot so i'll just show you how easy it is and what i do and then I'll show you what I do when I'm when I plant them out. The sun's come out, so it's really hard to see. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fill this pot up about two thirds in total. I'll put add the fertilizer in one while I'm going, so I'll just do like a third, add half the fertilizer. Give it a good mix in. Now what I used to do, I used to just plant the seed potatoes about two or three inches from the bottom so I'll do that I'll just show you that get a couple of seed potatoes so you want to be planting them obviously with the sprouts facing upwards and I'm going to be planting these about a couple of inches from the bottom of the compost so I'll push them into the compost a little bit just spread them apart so that's a couple of inches from the bottom and I'm just going to fill this pot up to about about two thirds full, add the rest of the fertiliser, give that a good mixing in. So I've left about three or four inches at the top, about a third of the height of the pot. So what I'll do, when the uh, sprouts start to emerge, the shoots, I'll just slowly top the pot up, just leaving a few leaves sticking through. So when the, when the stem starts to come up, I'll just put soil against the stem until they reach the top of the pot and if we do get any frost in May time when there's still just little shoots about you can just cover the whole thing with compost for the night you know it won't do it, won't do it any harm and it'll protect them from the frost oh, out of breath for some reason so that's uh, one of them done like I said couldn't be easy so that's just two seed potatoes planted in a 30 litre pot about two thirds full four ounces of blood fish and bone so I'll get on and do the rest and then I'll show you what I'm going to do and how I plant them out into the soil, into the little ridges in the soil. So what I've done now is, as you can see, I've made like a flat bottom drill about two, 18 inches wide, wider than the bottom of the pot and I've put the soil to the edges. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit the pots of potatoes now into this, start at this end. Like I said, I'm just going to plonk them in like that. So they're sat flat on the on the uh, on the bottom of the bed. And then what I'm going to do next is just cover the cover the holes, the drainage holes up with compost. So that any roots that grow through the bottom of the pot won't get dry and they'll grow straight into the ground below and like I said that's one of the main reasons you get such a good crop because you not only are they getting the nutrients from the from the pot the compost in the pot but also the roots can grow into the soil below and you get a good yield so that's what I'm going to be doing and I'd advise anybody if they're going to be doing it this way if you're growing them in rows just grow them in a, a double row because if you grow them in a triple row you can never get to the middle one to water them and I've done that in the past and then when all the leaves are grown and everything it's just an absolute nightmare to water but uh, 
generally that's about it, that's all I do to plant my potatoes in the pots. 30 litre pots, two seed potatoes, general purpose compost, four ounces of blood fish and bone, bury them in a trench like this and then just keep them watered and topped up and then once you get to the top just keep them all well watered and then it's just dead easy to tip your spuds out and you should get a good yield, hoping to get a good £10 a pot from these Sarpo Miras and the second, the first earlies, just hopefully just get a few nice new potatoes. So that's about it folks, planting out this year's potatoes in pots. See you later.